going to tell you right now, the Brian Real Force Plastic Chair Road YouTube page is as real as it gets. We feature all things plastic chairs and all the stress and anxiety that comes with them. And those videos where I'm showing the stress and anxiety, that's the real thing. I'm not faking that at all. Hello, today I'm going to count on the top five plastic chairs you're going to regret that you threw away. Hello, here I have two plastic chairs that are fit for a king. Hello, somebody down the street threw away this Adirondack chair that was all cracked in the seat, so we modified it, and now it greets the guests that come to my house. It waves hi to them. Boy, I tell you what, last week was the worst week I've ever been through in my entire life. Hello, here I have a Mirage folding chair. Hello, today I'm going to cover the history of the plastic classroom chair. Hello, today we're going to count on the top 100 plastic chair. Hello, here's a quick top five of some chairs that I said for years that I would die to own, and I finally have them. Hello, today I'm going to do a top ten countdown of my most favorite oversized resin chair. Hello, today I'm going to count down the top 50 traditional style plastic chairs, even though there are 55 chairs here. So right here, I have my most favorite plastic chair ever, the first plastic chair ever made, the Groflex, what I thought was called the Molega. Now, when I was told about this chair, I only saw it in writing. And I didn't really know how to pronounce it. Well, the other day I found a comment on my Brian Ropar's Plastic Chair World, and it said, Hey Brian, I thought you might like to know Malaga is actually pronounced Malaga. Hello, my name is Brian Ropar. I am the world-famous plastic chair connoisseur. So this is how I'm spending New Year's Eve, the same way I spent Christmas Eve and Christmas. Alone by myself, full of anxiety, worry, and depression. Hello, this trash day I had to rescue two U.S. Leisure Grand Bay promotional chairs. The chair, a smart alky name for plastic chairs. The stack, where plastic chairs are kept. I mean, I can actually slam my weight into it and it doesn't even bend. So right here I have one of the most important industrial artifacts of the 20th century. Hello, the other day on one of my chair issue videos, I got a comment from someone, and he was trying to describe to my new viewers and subscribers what it's like to be me when I see a plastic chair get thrown away. And he used breeds of dogs to show other viewers what it's like to be me when I see a plastic chair get thrown away. He said, you wouldn't want to see your favorite breed of dog get killed. And that's about how Brian feels on Trash Day. So it's about Sunday night at 8 o'clock, and this is how I'm spending my 4th of July weekend and holiday. Just lying here staring at my ceiling fan. Well, it's now Thursday, and I'm feeling about 78% better after my little episode on the 4th of July. Hello, today I'm going to discuss blow molded chairs. Hello, right here I have an armed dining chair made by a company called Resin Form. Hello, here I have this little Adirondack chair made by the American Plastic Toy Company. Hello, here's my resin cafe set all set up. Hello, right here I have a Syraco Deluxe chair. Hello, the other day I put a picture of my Malaga chair in an MCM group on Facebook saying it was the chair that started the plastic chair epic. Anyway, I got about 100 responses. Most thought it was cool and liked it. Some said the chair is landfill filler. Others wondered why it was in an MCM group. However, I got three responses, and two changed everything I knew. The first photo I got in 1973, French designer and business owner Henry Messonnet designed the Boston chair, reputably the first ever single-piece injection-molded chair made of polypropylene. On this YouTube page, we are chair people. Yeah, look at this. We got chairs, another chair, more chairs. Even more chairs over there, hundreds of them. I'm even starting to collect things like cans. And this is my electric collection over here that's been going on since I was in high school. And this 55 gallon plastic barrel that's lined with foil is what I like to call my static electricity container. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Remember, always be comfortable.